Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield, and we're on a Lotro guide today, my friends. And this is part three of a Lotro guide. We're going to specifically talk about, excuse me, not of a Lotro guide in general, just epic battles, okay? So, epic battles, part three. Um, you can see the title. Uh, <laughs> so, first, to get to epic battles, if you haven't watched the previous two, obviously, we need to go to Shift B, epic battles. Um, but we're going to talk about traits, promotions. I call them traits because they look a lot like class traits. But they're called promotions. So we're going to be talking about the promotions traits. Okay? In quotations there. Um, uh, we're going to go through them and talk about them and why they're important. Why you should be using them if you're doing epic battles. These are only specifically for epic battles. Now, if you didn't watch my previous two, a real quick refresher for you, real fast, is epic battles are very different than... Um, instances or raids or skirmishes and again for our players out there who maybe aren't a normal lotro player new to the game an instance is a is a dungeon okay like other mmos call it um but epic battles are their very own special thing all right there's only a group of eight of them it's pretty much the battles of helm's deep and the battles of the pelinor fields all right that is basically what the epic battles are um and the big thing that's different than regular instances or raids or skirmishes is the fact that as you do it, you don't want to be focusing too much on just killing NPC enemies or mobs. Your goal is to protect certain objectives and do objectives. What that means is, and we'll at the end of this go through and I'll show you one or two things, which I did show you in part one. We actually went into an epic battle and I showed you a little bit of a couple things that were important to know, but I'll just explain it. If you didn't watch part one, uh, you probably see it once you go into an epic battle yourself anyway. But there are siege equipment, which are very important and things to repair, like barricades. These are things you need to be focusing on using or commanding your troops, okay? And you command your troops through the commanders of groups, okay? So for every battle, there will be a commander basically standing with like maybe like seven troops in front of him. And if you click on him, a little button will come up and it'll have the ability to heal, the ability to make haste, battle, defensive stance. And you wanna do and go give him commands when your troops are being attacked so you can they can be healed, okay? So your goal is, to not let troops die, okay? That is the, the goal. Um, or certain things be destroyed or things. It'll tell you as you go. If you watch my part two, I talk about the merits and about objectives, basically what the objectives are and stuff through all of it. Um, but I didn't want to make these videos too long. So I wanted to split into three parts. Thought it'd be easier for people to find what they want too. Um, so as you can see here, I'm traded more into the the, the um, promotions of the officer tree, okay? So Vanguard, Engineer, Officer. Let's talk about these real quick and see what they benefit, okay? So Engineer is mainly focusing on, um, if you hover up here, it'll tell you, the Engineer focuses on ut um, utilizing interactions and siege equipment within space to feed. This is way too confusing. Let me just tell you, they repair things and they're really good at using siege equipment, okay? That's, that's like their thing, all right? That's what their goal is. They can also set traps, all right? There's this thing called traps in epic battles where you can slow down creatures and do things. It's very fun. The engineer is very important. If you're a lower level character, because remember I talked about in the first part one that you scale to level 100 if you have to be a minimum of level 10 to do epic battles. I would recommend you be over level 50 because the scaling makes you really weak still if you're only like level 12 or something and you join in, but it's fun. You can still join your friends, right? That's why epic battles are fun. We do them here on the channel live. So if you're subscribed and you're on crit call and you want to join us, you're welcome to join us. We'll do some, it's very fun, even for new players or old players. If whoever wants to join us. Um, so basically if you hover all these and go through them, they'll talk about all the benefits they do. We'll go through them here for in a minute, but I want to talk about a few more things for those people who just want to know the overview. Um, officer. Officers are good at helping the commands, all right? So they reduce the cooldowns and stuff of certain things for commanding troops. So when you're in an epic battle, you see, if you go see my, um, the, the one I showed it, and I believe it's the first one, uh, for part one of this little three-part series of epic battles, the, um, you, there's a commander leading, I think I talked about in the second one too, there's a commander leading about seven troops in every spot, right, along a wall or defensive position, and you click on him, a little tab will, will pop up. That little tab will have the ability to heal, defensive mode, 
you know, increase speed, you know, all these things, they last a few seconds, they're like buffs, right? So you wanna use them when they're being attacked or when they're getting low on health, use the heal buff. And you wanna consistently use them because they have like a minute cooldown, right? Through this like 30 minute epic battle. Um, so it's really important. So these are the things you really need to focus on doing the objectives with shooting the catapult, shooting the trebuchet, shooting the ballista, healing your troops, making sure certain things aren't getting burned, putting out fires. You're kind of like, you're not really there to do the battling like you'd be in an instance or a dungeon or a raid or a skirmish, right? It's more of you are the commander and you're also doing the side scenes of getting objectives. If an enemy comes over the wall, you fight that enemy, right? Like that main general enemy. And it'll usually be a, another quest that pops up, like a new merit quest will pop up. They call them merits in epic battles. It's different than normal instances with quests, right? Or anywhere in Middle Earth. Um, so that's why it's a little bit of difference there. So then Vanguard. Vanguard's focus on uh, directly engaging the enemy before them. Again, if you have a big group, if you have a 12 man, you're gonna want one or two people to be Vanguards because when a boss comes, you wanna have bonuses to kill them, right? So you might have a couple people on engineer. Like, so let's say you're doing the, the, the deeping wall, which is up to 12 people, right? They all have different amounts of people you can have, but you can have up to 12 people on the deeping wall of Helm's Deep. Um, you might want to have, like, out of those 12 people, you might want to have four or five be engineers. Maybe, like, three of them, you know, three or four be um, officers, and then the rest are all vanguard, right? It's up to what your group wants to do, but that's kind of the thing, right? So, again, if you look at these, you can kind of see, like, this one increases kill streak gain chance, right? Um, increases the chance of earning bonus kill streaks when you defeat an enemy. Um, and then it says your, and then it gives rendering bark, right? A max target five. Your sharp bark catches your enemy as a surprise, opening up opportunities to strike. Basically, for six seconds, um, you can make everyone five targets around you get, take way five percent more damage, and you have to have a kill streak. Okay, so obviously it's keeping track of how many things you're killing. So you get special bonuses for being a fighter, basically, in the battle. All right, that's your goal, a fighter. Again, if you're doing it solo, I highly recommend you just be an engineer of your lower level, engineer officer, because those are kind of the most important things with epic battles. Vanguard is kind of a thing if you're, like, trying to do it on a high tier and there's 12 of you, and you probably need some, like, a couple of vanguards to do some special of these other bonuses, which we'll talk about in this video, okay? Um, this will be the longest out of the three. Again, I'll have one or two timestamps in here, so you can hop around if you want to just hop to something like you just want to see vanguards just officer just engineer kind of thing um so there we go so epic battles promotions now let's go into the actual things we can talk about them so as you trade down just like you would with your class traits right just like you would with your class traits on the side thing whichever one you trade you get one of these you can see on the promotions it's a very similar way okay so you can watch my class on a video if you want about your classes too i've been trying to do more class videos um but as you can see, I'm traded an officer, so it went down the engineer one, right? Of course, I could trade into all of them. If you notice, you can trade into all of them. The only difference is in normal trading for class traits, when you trade into a different tree, it costs two points to trade into that other tree. Where the other one, the one you start trading in will only be one point each, it'll cost two for every one point on the other tree. That is not the case with promotions. You can choose whoever you want. You just have to get to the bottom. And look, I'm level 140 and I only have, you know, 104 points to use. So you still need to pick and choose what you do. And again, you earn them as you go. Get promotion points. You can even get some looks on, on the thing. Or you can unlock more. Earn 200 more promotion points to gain... Uh, earn 200 promotion points to gain one class point. Oh, okay. That's actually something I didn't even forgot. I, I need to do that. That's, 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 I was being neg negligent. That's important. So again, you can earn these promotion points too, I believe, after just doing epic battles as well, guys. Okay, so... As you're playing through, you can earn them. Epic battles are designed so you can keep playing them over and over and over and like keep earning stuff. As you can see here too, you can keep increasing rewards. And you can also say bypass, which I believe will bypass to put all your points to one of the other higher ones, okay? But we're not gonna do that. Um, so let's now take our time to talk through the different ones. We'll start with engineer. I'm just gonna hover them, go through them. Now, don't be like, you're just reading them. I'm going to read them a little bit and then explain what it's talking about to the best of my ability. Okay. Um, so aim contribute. So again, this is the engineer tree you're going to be trading into. As you trade into the engineer tree, you're going to get these ones here. It's going to say engineer rank one, engineer rank two. It gives you bonuses to everything as you can see. Engineer rank three, um, engineer rank four. By the way, 
There are certain objects on the field, if you saw my last video, I think it was part two that I actually went in, where there's certain things you could pick up and use. It'll say for engineer tier three, for engineer tier four. So if you're a higher tier engineer, you'll be able to use better, a better ballista, better equipment, that kind of thing, okay? Better projectiles, right? You might be able to put fire on your shots, right? Or whatever, even though that might not be totally realistic, but that's okay. Uh, and then, of course, it just goes down, right, all the way up to a tier six, and they're all exactly the same like that. Officer tier six and Vanguard tier six. And Vanguard's obviously actually get some abilities, which is pretty cool um, for the epic battles. So, <laughs> aim contribute. This increases how good um, the when you're aiming your weapon. Basically, I, I believe how quickly and stuff, too. All right? So, it's an important one. Load. How fast you can load your weapon. All right? So, aiming and loading. These are important because you're moving it around, right? To shoot it and stuff, which I showed you in the other the other part, too. We're not going to go back and do... We're not going to jump into an epic battle in this video. You can go back and watch the other one. I do a real quick part in this... I believe it's the second part, two, The previous video. Um, build contribute, right? So, this increases how fast you build things and build traps. Okay? So, like, if you're building a... Tra getting a trebuchet ready, you're building it... Or you're setting up a trap, right? Which traps are a cool thing you can do in it. I talked about in the previous ones. Um, bear trap is something that an enemy will get his foot caught in. Not very nice, but you know what those mean orcs and trolls? They can have bear traps. Um, they, uh, we'll just keep going through here. This is disabled, uh, dismantle. Uh, so you can take apart something faster and move it kind of thing. I believe that is what that's for. Um, cal trap. Ooh, traps. So basically those little spikes on the ground, they do more damage. Uh, trap. Trigger count, how many you can have, kind of thing, that kind of stuff. Um, a crank, this is really important. If you're cranking back something to fire it, it, makes it much faster. This is an important one if you're using the trebuchets. So I highly recommend the crank one, the aim one, and the load one. Those are very important if you're going to be doing, or and the building one. Um, repair, this is very important too for everybody if you're an engineer. Repairing the barricades, repairing your broken devices, I mean, like trebuchet or ballista, catapult, all that kind of stuff, repairing. The barricades is the big one because they take a lot of the damage so you don't lose your soldiers and don't lose your points. Um, so the repair one, that's a big one. Um, trap, this is a trap wire thing. It knocks people down. It's cool. Um, disarm, all right? Uh, so basically you can disarm. You can disarm an enemy trap, I believe. I believe the, the NPC armies try to put things up. Sometimes you have to disarm them. Um, armor, or craft. Basically, you, you get higher orc defense so if you're building and you're getting attacked by an orc and your friend's not coming over fast enough to like get him off you this will help defend you while you're doing it okay um extinguish this helps you extinguish if there's a fire on something you know how to distinguish fires you know not to pour oil on that fire or if it's an oil fire you know not to pour water on it <laughs> just kidding just kidding um trap all right cooldown so you can do traps more often nice all right upgrade contributes all right so increase the amount of con uh contribute when upgrading certain objects all right cool it's thing it's there's a, some mechanics in some of them where you can upgrade certain things okay trap uh potency how strong your traps are basically and then fell rot mitigation again another defense one fell rot is a uh, more of like a disease or something from some monstrous creature or something all right now that we talked about that let's quickly look at what you get as you go up the ranks unlocks the ability to shield stance sealed um arm armor and arrow volley armor so what that means is there are some special oh excuse me that's the officer one we need to go to oh, the engineer one i almost messed up excuse me unlocks the ability to utilize uh, uh barricades place traps and upgrade armor on siege weapons so you basically that's the upgrades you can put defenses on your stuff so they don't break as easy um you can use traps then as your engineer so you can't use traps if you're not a tier one engineer so again, if you're someone who wants to be an officer, you might want to put a few points still into this one just so you can actually get to um, the, the engineer tier one so you can use some stuff. You can still crank things and shoot with basic shots, but it's better for that. So tier two increases all those things right there. You can just see them. All those percents of everything increased. Again, it just kind of goes up. And then tier three unlocks the ability uh, to utilize placeable catapults and ballistas. Again. It says in the battle that I was just showing you in the previous part that you have to be a rank three to actually pick it up and place it, okay? So what it means by placeable catapults and ballistas is I believe sometimes it's certain locations that they have to be, and sometimes I believe you can just place them anywhere and start shooting them, which is kind of cool. 
Um, if I'm wrong on that, you can leave a comment. But I'm pretty sure I remember I did that. I just I haven't. I'm usually an officer in our battles in the last few few weeks of playing. Um, and applying uh, powder to catapult shells, so you can make them more explosive. The shots. All right. So there's a special upgrade for shells. And again, increases stuff again. This one, I'm, again, tier 5 unlocks new things. Triple catapult shells, so basically way better ammunition for shooting. Um, or your trebuchet upgrades the damage of siege weapons and applies slow powder to catapult shells. So there's some things you can apply. And the last one is just massive upgrades again. So that's that's pretty much it. So now we're done with that. You know about engineers. Now let's talk about officers. All right. Officers, this is going to be an important role too. You, this is going to be basically commanding the commanders that command the soldiers, okay? So you're like the main commander, right? Um, so haste orders. This makes them faster. It makes all your orders, heal order, defense order, speed order, all the orders faster. This is kind of a must-have. This one, heal. Faster heal cooldown for the, your your commander to say, heal those people. Wow, that person is so glowy white. Look at how that's like, like Galadriel level white there <laughs> the, with the dress i was like so bright it distracted me um the heal order okay heal is really important so that's important we already talked about it a few times it's the big one to keep your troops alive your commander can ye yell heal basically they heal all right uh, I, it's more of like a morale heal i think but they use it as a physical heal right um cooldowns for corruption cooldown removal so you can remove a corruption on people there's a button for that too um haste order it's faster, it's better. Banner cooldowns, you can use these banners, right? That's another one you can increase the cooldowns for. Um, target cooldowns, reduces the cooldown on your target priority skill. So basically, you can prioritize certain targets to help and tell your troops and your pl other players and that are on your team, friends playing the epic battle with you, that kind of stuff. And it kind of buffs it. If you make that the target we need to use, makes him have faster cooldowns, that certain commander, that NPC. Um, I believe that one is what that's for. Arrow volley armor order makes it stronger. So basically, you tell your troops, you tell the commander, tell everyone to put their shields up. And then if you know an arrow volley is coming from an animation that happens, it's like a little warning thing. They can all put their shields up, and it hits. It helps make that not as weak, powerful. Heal more potent. Again, a good one. The heal ones are both really important because you want to keep your people alive. So highly recommend the heal ones. Increase the benefit provided by your engine uh, near banner which is kind of cool. Um, so you can do kind of like a cross-trading. So if you see, you can kind of cross-trade to have an engineer banner with your engineer stuff. Um, and this one is increase your benefit of your um, the Vanguard banner. So you can make them a little bit better, right, from the other ones. So you can have some cross-trading happening there. Um, damage cooldown, uh, or damage order cooldown. So that basically increases the damage. You tell your commander to tell everyone to do fight harder. Basically, it makes that a faster cooldown. Same thing with the armor cooldown. Then you got a banner duration. Your banners last longer. Um, and then you have siege armor order potency. And also you have armor. Per and basically, these are all just percent increases. Those They're stronger. Okay? They're stronger. It's that simple. It's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard. I don't want to just be reading them out because I feel like you guys can figure that out for yourself. Um, but... Then, of course, the officer levels, again. But I want to talk about MMA. This is a guide for anyone. I don't care what your level of MMO experience is. I want you to be able to help you understand this and follow along. Okay? Unlock the ability to order target priority warriors, target priority archers. Um, basically, you can get different commands to give them. It's just kind of like the engineer can do different thing, new things. Same thing. They have different commands you can do as the officer. And it just goes down, again, incre opens new things, increases the banners, uh, how long, cooldowns and stuff. Again, there are a lot of good bonuses that you need to have later. All right, we're done with that. Let's real quickly go through Vanguard. Okay, Vanguard is the one that you probably will use the least unless you have a really big group and you want a few Vanguards in your group. Um, but let's go ahead and do it. So the killing streaks, I am assuming, uh, so we go here. Unlock the shout kill streak, and uh, so when you when you put a few points in, you're gonna get Vanguard one. It's gonna up, uh, allow you. <laughs> can't. All these things are being moved. Right. Let's let's do this. There we go. There we go. Now we can see them all. So that one unlocks Vanguard rank one. Unlocks um, all these these shouts. Costs eight kill streak. All these different things, and uh, provoke your enemies. You get you basically get some other cool abilities you can use no matter who you are. Right? No matter what class you are, you can use these if you are trained into the Vanguard thing. 
Um, so basically, it'll allow you to do all these things. And again, we're just going to go through this, this tree over here first to finish it up. Uh, eye for an eye. Again, these are mostly going to be damaging things, things to taunt, things to... You're gonna you're there to kill things, right? You're going to be obviously using this cost called kill streaks, right? As you kill things as a vanguard. And then when you kill a certain amount of creatures or whatever, you can use one of these, okay? Uh, which is kind of a cool mechanic. And it's only an epic battle. So enjoy if you like to kill things. Um, rank 4 gives another a benefit, right? Another thing. Fleetness couple things this one costs you can do piercing roar hits five targets does an absurd amount of damage of 274,000 damage so you just scream and kill everything around you very powerful voice of the rings oh, just kidding uh you have to have a cost 16 kill streak right which means probably you've killed 16 enemy npcs is my guess on that one um, again, I have not ever, I don't think I've ever used the Vanguard. That's why I'm a little bit with that one. If you want to leave a comment, you know exactly how that works. The kill streak. you're welcome to leave that comment. I'll give you a nice little like on that. Um, uh, we might use that in Epic Battles, though. So go watch our Epic Battles on our live streams later when we do the Epic Battles. I'm going to probably do this later because I'm curious how this exactly works um, with the Vanguard. But again, unlock some more abilities, upgrade some more things. But let's quickly go through the Vanguard. Again, this is obviously an ability they give you. It says five max targets, costs four to use. This one is another thing. Uh, after kill, 5% chance to apply this buff to, to, to the person killing, which is cool for five seconds. Um, basically, you get some damage increases. Again, it's for you to help kill things. Render, another upgrade to that one. Uh, increases, oh, kill streak maximum. I see, I see. So there is a limit normally to how much you can kill in one thing, but this will increase that. So you probably want to use this for sure. Kill streaks max will probably be very important if you're a Vanguard. <laughs> it's probably the important one. You notice a lot of the ones on the left here are kind of the important ones on the right. The ones they stick off to the side seem to be very important. All right, I noticed that with the way they did this tree. Very convenient for new players. So the ones are kind of off to their own selves over here. All these, they're kind of like a lot of important ones, I've noticed. As we've been going through this right now. Um, again, another one, kill streak cooldown. So obviously there's a cooldown, so that reduces it. Um, soldiers defeat effect duration. Alright. So that's kind of cool. Increases the duration of soldier defeat effects. That's something to do with this certain ability, I'm sure. Uh, that one I'm not totally 100% sure off the top of my head. Soldier defeat effects chance. So that's obviously a mechanic in when you defeat something, something happens with a after effect on your character, probably. Um, healing, how much healing you're getting, that's good. If you have a healer and you're kind of tanking and doing damage, you probably want to take more healing. That's always a benefit and bonus if you're doing it high tier with a 12 man or something. Again, another increase to kill streak. Kill streak target count. All right, increase the number of targets hit by your kill streak kills. That's very cool. So that means that instead of max target of five, I can increase that to a max target of 20 because at rank 15, it adds plus 15, right? So that means my roar rendering bark or whatever that reduces, t increases the damage all those people take. I can do it on 20 targets now instead of five. Very important. Very cool. Um, another another benefit buff thing you can increase. All right. Run speed. That's pretty cool. Increase your run speed. So you can run around to get faster to places to defeat an enemy boss or kill some mobs, right? That kind of thing. Very helpful. Recruit. Uh, defeat effect cooldown. So, again, that's something to do with the defeat effect. I'm not entirely sure what the defeat effect. I'm sorry, guys, with that particular thing. I understand everything else here in this one except for that. Um, again, I'd have to, I need to play the Vanguard to know that 100%. Sure. So, um, if you leave a comment about that, I'll give you a nice thumbs up. If you can give us a real quick definition there, I'll, I'll heart it. Um, fortifications. A negative damage coming through. Again, I know a lot about this game, guys, but I don't know everything. I'm not a know-it-all, okay? So I'm going to tell you when I don't 100% know something. And in the future, I might leave a comment with an updated video on that little on that one thing uh, once I figure it out a little better. But again, that's not really that important because most of you aren't going to be vanguards anyway. And if you are, you're probably very easy to figure out once you're playing it, the vanguard. Um, kill streak buff, debuff potential. These are all the big ones at the bottom. Again, more reduction cooldown to that effect. And damage, massive damage increases just on yourself. Look at that. The 15% increased melee, tactical, or range damage for yourself. That's pretty awesome. So, again, that's about it, you guys, with this thing. Um, there is, there is, this is important to finish up our little series. This is the same on the Lotro um, traits or race traits or, or class traits tab. You can click this and actually switch between two preordained sets. So if you want to have one set up as an engineer and one set up as a vanguard or one as an officer and vice versa, 
uh, you could switch between the two. You might have to buy the second slot on the Lotra store, but of course you can earn Lotra points while you do deeds and stuff. Or if you're a VIP, a subscriber to the game, you will get um, uh, 500 points a month. And by the way, it's free to subscribe to the channel if you would like to subscribe if I earned it. Um, so anyway, very cool. That is pretty much the promotions on the epic battle. We've gone through them in quite detail here. Um, and I think the last little bit, you guys can probably figure it out on your own because I don't want to go over every little thing because this, this video will turn into an hour. And I, that's no. <laughs> hopefully that helps you out. This is a guide. This is not a um, confuse you guys. All right. So hopefully that helps you guys out a lot. It um, It's a lot of stuff to take in. Again, there are two other parts I already did. Uh, part one and two, the more basics of epic battles and things I went over in details. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Thank you so much to my patrons for their support. Subscribe button's right there, guys. If I earned it, I appreciate it greatly. It is free. And uh, you guys are the best. And Scumly, thank you for being a royal guard. I appreciate the support and my wonderful patrons. Can't do it without you guys. Um, next episode will be up there. Um, Lotra Tales over there. And again, if you go into my guide playlist, it'll show you all three, all the guides. And you can go to the ones where it's one, part one, two, and three of Epic Battles, okay? That I did on this little series here of Epic Battles. This last one was basically us going over the promotions. And the tr basically, they're basically traits, even though they're not. They're called promotions for this for the particular thing. So you guys have a great and wonderful day in Middle Earth, my friends. Thank you for watching this whole video if you did. And I'll see you all in the next episodes of Voice of the Rings. And make sure you check out our fun stuff, too, and our voiceovers and things on the channels as well. But I know you guys love the guide videos as well. So have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. Baruch Kazad, Kuzad, I menu. See ya. Subscribe? Yeah. Zolan says subscribe, right? Zolan. Kazad, I menu. Baruch Kazad, Kuzad, I menu.